Can you put this result into some sort of context, Vermin? It's one of the biggest results in my managerial career, without doubt. And one of the biggest results whilst I've been associated with Chorley Football Club. I think winning promotion, winning promotion certainly tops it, but this is a very, very close second. It's monumental. We're away at League One opposition, top League One opposition, good football inside, and we've more than matched them. We've shown great strength of character. We've got the goals, got our goals at decent times. We could have had another one, two or three, I think. They didn't cause us too many problems. Um, and I'm really proud. Every single one of the players have been, have been outstanding today from start to finish. And I'm a very, very proud person. How concerned were you when Peterborough scored so early on? Like naturally, you naturally you are concerned, aren't you? You, you want to take the lead rather than, than going one down. But you know, after about 10 or 15 minutes, the, the boys grew into the game. They had a little bit of a belief. I think they had a belief from the start, but a belief certainly 10 or 15 minutes into the game when they thought, you know what, they're a good side, but we can do it. And at half-time, in a strange way, 1-0 down, the boys probably felt more confident than they were at 0-0 just before the start of the game. So we went out there, gave it our all. We worked really hard. I think the performances were, were great. I think Matty wasn't really tested too many times, but then when he was needed in the last couple of minutes, he's made a monster save for us. Back three was superb. Harry and Connor worked their hearts out up top. Tactically, I thought we were good. Our set plays were excellent. It was something that we pride ourselves on and work on, and that's two teams that we've come up against in League One, and we've probably outwitted them, on certainly on our attacking set plays. Um, but you know what, credit to... Credit to, to every single one of our players and credit to their manager because it's not easy to take a result like that. The first thing he does is turn around and said that we, you know, we deserved it. But this is great. This is great for us. This is great for everyone who's watching at home. The fans aren't here to, to enjoy it, but I'm sure they are going to enjoy it in many different ways. We've got people all over the place in Ireland, Kalani, people who are at my, my school, and then nationally people are just watching this result and we're the team that people are going to be talking about. What did you say to the players at half-time? Because obviously we'd, we'd played incredibly well after going a goal down hit the post a couple of times was it just you know, keep doing what you're doing there was a few tactical changes in there we needed to just to adjust a little bit to be fair to the lads they were making some really strong decisions themselves and um, they were they were probably neutralising some elements of their, their positive play like the ball into their number uh, number 15 the boys were doing that you know, handling that quite well into Dembele but we just readjusted a couple of things but the main message was just keep going and keep believing and if you didn't have belief before the game you should have belief now at being 1-0 down you know, and that was the message again at half time going right to history and, and the boys have done that and they all deserve an enormous amount of credit and they should all be able to celebrate today like they've won the league because for us getting into the third round proper is like winning the league is like winning the cup it's massive for the football club yeah it's, it's a huge thing isn't it when you consider how old Chorley FC is as a football club 137 years 85th campaign in the FA Cup and this is the first time that we've got this far um, and obviously the draws on Monday draws on Monday they're looking forward to that do you know what it's not been easy we had a bye which was great wasn't it we want, we want a bye but we've also played against Gateshead strong side York strong side we've played against Wigan we've beaten them and now we've played against at the time, the highest ranked side in it. So, you know, who will want to who'll want to play us? To be honest, with our tails high like the way that they are, who will want to play us? Because we look capable at the moment of of causing an upset and scrapping it out and doing all that dog and duck stuff that that you need to do in the FA Cup. I'm really proud of the boys. That were, you know, we've got a young side. We've reassembled at the start. We've kept four. Scotty Leather being one of the main ones that we've we've kept. Made them skipper, and I thought he was. Magnificent today with everyone, with everyone else. But you know, some of these lads, the average age of our team is 23. I don't know what it was on the pitch today, but our squad is 22, 23 years old, and this is a moment that they should, they, they should all save it forever. Obviously, looking forward now, you've only got a, a couple of days before we, we head back into a quite a hectic league campaign in December. Um, is it going to be easy to, to motivate the players going into Kerr's National on Tuesday? I think it is. The, the, the players do motivate themselves. There's real hunger about them. I love the squad that we had over the last few years. I was a massive part of that. That The kind of character in that squad, squad was integral to what we wanted to do. Now we've changed and we've shifted a little bit. And these players have got a bit of a kind of a full-time mentality. Tomorrow morning they'll be up, they'll be cooling down, they'll be doing what they need to do. And they'll be getting their bodies in the, in the best possible position to give the best possible performance against Kerr's and Ashton. Will we enjoy it tonight? Of course we do. We can't let this moment pass us by. And I don't want the lads to enjoy it. I enjoy every moment. Take all the publicity that comes with it because it's been tough for us over the last 12 months. We've felt, we've felt some tough performances, some tough home journeys. And this is one journey that we're absolutely going to thoroughly enjoy.